Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day in the Lord. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm sorry about yesterday that um, I had to upload my video in two parts. And it was about taking offense to what you see being released on the news in the Olympics, all of that stuff. And um, I did it in two parts because my video, something happened and it was cut off. And uh, rather than to restart it, I just ended it on another segment. And then I had to make two different uploads. And if you're interested, if you watch the first one, you really need to watch the second one in order to understand what I was talking about. Basically, um, <clears throat> when we see things that upset us, and they upset us for reasons that it disturbs our, at our core, our morality, you know, and, and what we believe, um, it can get you to, to react. And um, sometimes a reaction, if acted on, can cause you to fall out of grace, the grace of God, and make you do things that you uh, would be ashamed of later or regret. And um, as Christians, we're not to go down that road because Jesus didn't do it. And that's what I talked about in that in those videos that although you might feel it you're you're not to go down that road because it's going to be detrimental to you and your walk as a Christian um, I also gave the definition of the word what it means to be offended and it's all words that trigger uh, anger and hostility and um, they're, they're things that are opposed to what the Holy Spirit has done to your heart. Now the Holy Spirit said, uh, Jesus said, I will give you a new heart, a heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. And when you're offended and you go down that road and you act on it, it's actually in opposition of everything that the Holy Spirit has done to you to turn you into Christ, okay? To become Christ-like. It is the opposite path. And that's what I was trying to tell you, that we as Christians are not supposed to embrace those things when we see them. Because Jesus told us what to expect, and we're in it now. We are in it now. I wanted to give you some synonyms for the word offended other words that mean the same thing and one is like insulted outraged upset affronted wounded displeased taunted hurt disturbed slapped slighted troubled disrespected mocked ridiculed pain tortured and reviled yeah well you know if you're following Christ, they're going to do the same things to you that they did to Christ. Because Jesus said in, in um, Matthew 10, 22, he said, You will be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth till the end shall be saved. So, you know, he warned. He's warning you in the scripture. So you should already know that. And he also said in John 15, 18, 25, he said, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. That means you would have the same mind. You would think the same. You would just, you would just, you know, hang out together and you wouldn't be repelled by each other. As it is, you do not belong to the world. And this, this is the best scripture I could ever give you. But I have chosen you out of this world. That is why the world hates you. 
So you have, listen, it's joyous to know that the reason that there's this conflict is because you don't belong here, but you're here. All right. Now you cannot change Satan. You cannot do that. This is God's battle, people. You, the reason Christ left us his beautiful words from his ministry is so that we could be like him, so that we could survive and get through our existence here, being in a place that we're not from. Um, and, and he chose you. He chose you. If they're reviled by you, if they're repelled by you, that's because they're, you're, God chose you. And in Luke 20, 334 when Jesus was on the cross and they were doing all these horrible things to to him he said and he didn't get offended he said forgive them father for they know not what they do forgive them father for they know not what they do so you know when I read you these synonyms did any of them jump out at you of what they did to Jesus? They reviled him. That was one of the synonyms. They tortured him. That was one of the synonyms. They ridiculed him. They mocked him. They disrespected him. They insulted him. They hurt him and they wounded him. All under the, 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 uh, the word offended. And he never spoke again, out against it. And if you're following Jesus, and you say you're following Jesus, then you need to follow Jesus, and you need to set the example. Because we are not, we are not setting the pace here for how the world evolves. And it's evolving very fast. And to some of us, as we see it, it's spinning out of control. And you have to remember one thing when, you know, the church, okay? Don't forget who you are and what you are and how you were saved by God's grace. Because the church is a mosaic of broken people. Broken people, people, um, people that are going to come to Christ that are broken and living in addictions and sins just like you and I were before we came to Christ for renewal and mercy and salvation and they could be on their way but they haven't arrived yet okay so you know you have to understand that and even Jesus when he was here <laughs> he and, he, and when he went to the cross, he did not die on the cross for a members-only group of people, okay, that create a club. And you can't be in this club unless you're righteous. That's not who Jesus was. Jesus sat with broken people. Jesus had very deep relationships with people that were not like him. That's tolerance, okay? And this is how we are supposed to be and walk as Christians. And I see, you know, um, there wasn't very much action on those two videos. And I don't want to make assumptions about people that viewed it and what, how they received it. But um, I think there probably are a lot of Christians out there that feel that they have a right to be offended. And when you're offended, if you don't have control, if the Holy Spirit doesn't have full control over your mouth, you are going to spew some things that you're going to be very sorry for later on. And when you're convicted from the Holy Spirit that you slipped and made a mistake, it doesn't feel very nice, people. You know, for the Holy Spirit, you know, to show you that you shouldn't have done that. I've walked down there many times and I didn't like the way it felt, but it helped me to not do it again. 
you know, a reaction, when you have a reaction to something, a reaction is a response to stimulus. And you don't think that that Christians are being provoked by the news. I, I went on Instagram and Fox News, all, all their posts were instigating to incite people. Listen, everybody's participating in here. They're all causing chaos. So to incite you to the point where you uh, retaliate and maybe do something against what you believe and cause a civil war here. So, you know, you're being played. I see it and I'm just warning you that you're being played and not to capitulate with it because you'll you'll hate yourself for it later that you fell into the trap and they made you react and fall from your own belief system that's it I remember in uh, August I believe it was of 2015 they put up a picture of the goddess Kali on the Empire State Building do you remember that yeah, a lot, of, a lot of us sucked in our breath to see that uh, only 30 years or 40 years prior to that, there were crosses on the Empire State Building. And um, so you can see the shift in the allegiance of this country. And we see it, but we are responsible for our own behavior and how we react and how we treat people. That's what sets you apart from others. That's why Jesus said you are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And if you react like that, you can't be either one of those. Nobody knows when somebody is gonna make an about face and turn to God. And we're supposed to be here to help guide them over and escort them to Christ. And if you're reacting and getting offended, you can't do that. And you know, even when I'm making these videos, there's a part of me who uh, sometimes feels, oh, you know, you're stepping over your boundary. You know, people are not going to, uh, you know, accept what you're saying because they're gonna cling to their position and, um, and anger. But you want to know something? Your opinion of me is none of my business. And I'm going to say what the Holy Spirit puts me out here to say. Whether you like it or you don't. You don't have to watch. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like me. You don't have to do any of it. But I have to. As a follower of Christ, I have an obligation to serve the Lord and to come on here and speak what the Holy Spirit uh, commands me to speak, whether it's received, liked, or not. And that's all I have for you today. God bless you. I hope you continue to have a beautiful day in the Lord. Shalom.